Hi, I'm Steve Beardsley, a local practitioner in Frankfort, Indiana. I've been involved with the society since uh, I first became a CPA in, in 1979, but back then I thought of it pretty much as being uh, a place for getting CPE, uh, a place where uh, we had chapter meetings once a month in South Bend and you'd go and have a nice dinner and listen to a, to a uh, speaker, but at that time I didn't think of it as very much more than that. Uh, since then I've, I've became a, a member of the leadership cabinet in about 2001 or two. I was on that, I think, for eight years, and uh, I've also been a, a trustee of the CPA PAC. We've, we've all heard the, the uh, comment that the CPA Society, the Indiana CPA Society, is our professional home. Uh, for me, it, it's, it, it's more than just a slogan. Uh, back in, uh, in 1995, uh, I found myself in a position where I was suddenly and unexpectedly out of work on the street with a, a, a briefcase, no office, and no files. Uh, the, the following Monday, my wife and I were able to secure a place to open for work, but I had never run a CPA firm. I, I decided that's what I wanted to do now. I uh, didn't know how to do it. Uh, I made a call to Gary Bollinger uh, at the Society, uh, told him my story, and uh, asked him what resources were available to help me. He uh, arranged that uh, I would come to the society offices later that week, and when I got there that morning, he had a whole day lined up for me, meeting with different members of the staff, uh, telling me how to do things. A, a past chairman of the society took time off to come in and meet with me and talk to me about uh, how, how I should do things, what I should do, uh, how, how to run a firm. I, I had never done it. Uh, they, they gave, gave me all those kind of resources, and, and uh, you know that, that was the start of it. At that point, it really became real that this was my professional home. Through the years that, since I started my, my firm almost 17 years ago, uh, countless times I have the opportunity to, uh, to have a question and, and call the society, and everyone at the society uh, is eager to help you. And, and, and if they don't know the answer, they look for it. It's, it's the first resource I always think of. Whenever I have a problem, I think first of the society I call and invariably they have somebody that can help me. My encouragement to anyone is that uh, think of the society as your professional home. Think of them as the place that you would contact first if you have a question. Uh, the staff is eager to help you and very able.